the magician will now attempt an incredibly dangerous balancing act in hopes of avoiding disastrous results. He begins by showing off this arrangement of antique iron spikes. These are the same spikes found protecting medieval castles, haunted mansions, and Gothic cemeteries. They're all very sharp and very lethal. In the days of the knights, these spikes were used to impale dangerous lawbreakers and reviled enemies. Tonight, he'll use them to perform a perilous illusion with the help of this very lovely lady. She looks pretty dangerous too. Pretty and dangerous. That's a combination that's perfect for a trick like this. He calls in the help of two male assistants in the event this girl is too much for one masked man to handle. As he puts her into a deep trance, the men lift her onto the tallest spike, balancing her precariously on its iron tip. The magician continues to conjure, being careful not to let the girl slip out of her trance. Ouch. The girl has been impaled by the spike. The tip has plunged all the way through her stomach, coming out the other side. This is a case for workers' comp if she somehow survives. Still, even pierced by the stiff iron rod, she manages to look graceful and gorgeous. Maybe this was the magician's plan all along, to stab a girl in the back by magic. What did this dangerous beauty do to deserve such a painful punishment? And is she past the point of no return? Let's find out. The men help lift her off the spike as she awakens from her trance. Finally, the girl slept through it and came out unharmed. And look at that. She doesn't even hold a grudge. Maybe women do like bad boys after all. But just because she survived looking as incredible as before doesn't mean you should try anything like this at home. After all, this was just an illusion, and they know the secrets. We just saw the masked magician place his stunning assistant on the point of an iron spike and impale her. So how did he do it? Here are the secrets. When the illusion begins, the magician displays the collection of imposing looking iron spikes. The spikes appear to be deadly sharp and quite dangerous. But on closer inspection, we can see that the pointy iron tips are actually made of foam rubber. They look lethal, but they're really quite harmless. They're as soft and pliable as a bath sponge or a toy bow and arrow set. The center spike contains some bigger secrets. When the assistant is placed on the spike, it appears that the spike goes right through her beautiful body. But if you look closely, you can see that the tip of this spike retracts into the shaft. When the assistant is placed on top, the point simply sinks down inside the spike, which is really a sturdy hollow pipe. Beneath her costume, the assistant is wearing a special harness that rests against the small of her back and has a socket that fits over the end of the phony spike. Without her fancy dress on, we see how easy it is to make the magic happen. When the men lift her, the magician guides the socket to the top of the spike. From this angle, we can see the moment the tip retracts and the harness attaches to the pipe. While the steel pipe and harness support her back, the girl must use her tremendous abdominal strength to keep her shoulders and legs up. This is the result of hours in the gym. 
Next, when the magician makes his magical gesture, the girl appears to be impaled by the spike. But how? Hidden inside the spike is a spring-loaded piston which retracts into itself. This lowers the assistant down, creating the illusion that the spike is being driven into her. See? She's actually just going for a ride as the piston slides the pipe down over itself. There is a release cable that runs from off stage to the base of the spike. Off stage, a stagehand controls the action. The girl is loaded onto the fake spike and the stagehand waits for his cue. The magician motions, the stagehand pulls the cable, releases the piston, and the spike lowers the girl. If you look closely, you can even see the cable as it's pulled. We're so busy watching the girl being impaled that we don't even notice. But if the girl and the spike are lowered at the same time, how does the tip of the spike appear to puncture her stomach? The assistant has a duplicate spike tip that attaches to a magnet on the front of her harness. See? It's just strapped on. Her careful timing when placing the tip creates the illusion that the duplicate tip is actually being driven through her. As she's being positioned on the pipe, the girl removes the extra tip from a secret pocket in her costume and conceals it in her hand. Notice that she keeps her hands directly above her abdomen until the tip appears to puncture her. This is to hide the fact that she's securing the tip to the magnet. Once the piston lowers and the tip is attached, all she has to do is let her arms fall and reveal the tip. The illusion that she is impaled is very convincing. But how does the spike appear to be its original height once the girl is lifted off? A hidden pedal operates a hydraulic lift inside the pipe. It works like a dentist chair, raising the spike back up. The assistant removes the fake tip and hides it in her palm as she's removed from the spike. All she has to do now is join the magician and accept half the applause for doing most of the work. And now you know the secrets.